blackness was worse than what we witnessed in slavery. Cowboys with their reins again whipping black people, Haitians, into the water where they're scrambling and falling down. T.W., what, what do you make of this? Yeah, it's a bunch of, you know, faux outrage, if you ask me. I mean, for Maxine Waters to compare what was happening on the border with slavery, the only comparison I can make to that is actually it's Joe Biden and Kamala Harris who created a situation where we've got concentration camps at the border because of their failed policies. And the, and the idea that they're going to punish the Border Patrol who are underfunded under this administration, who's only doing the best that they can to control an out-of-control situation where you had 13,000 people show up suddenly because Joe Biden told them he'd provide them free health care, he provide them uh, uh, free government assistance. It's no wonder this is happening. But I want to make a comparison, Rob, that's very important. You know, we saw the height of a failed, uh, really, incompetency yeah. by the Joe Biden administration in Afghanistan. But at the border, I don't think it's uh, really about incompetency. I think it's intentional. They have completely surrendered American sovereignty. And I think it's in order to try to win elections. And I think it's a shame. And I think people should really start investigating what's the true meaning of why we're allowing our border to be open. This is part of that global elitist agenda where we surrender American sovereignty. And Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are leading the effort. Yeah, I want to get back into this at the top of the hour. Uh, we learned yesterday that a woman gave birth under that bridge. We also learned of a possible sexual assault under that bridge. Um, the conditions, uh, squalor is not the appropriate word anymore. Uh, we have never seen something like this. What's happening? 15,000 people under that international bridge. Uh, it is a sad, sad situation. And this is Joe Biden's self-made problem because we definitely didn't have this problem eight months ago. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.